In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Google's Notebook LM to create really high quality and specific SEO content strategies for your business, create blogs and create even social media strategies that are going to help you rank and get more traffic to your website. This is a perfect tool for all your marketing needs, one, because it's free, but two, you can give it specific data that it needs to reference, meaning that it can understand who and why it's writing for, giving you a much better perspective from an AI content copywriter. Within a matter of minutes, I've been able to create a really specific and high quality SEO content pillar for a business. This is, for example, a dog training business. I've got my pillar one, pillar two, pillar three, pillar four. Each pillar has the keywords that it's trying to rank for as well as the sub pillars. This is great for SEO to keep yourself organized, but not only specifically just for SEO, you can then use this for your social media strategy. I did this by giving it all the information on the website and also some information about what all the frequently asked questions are about that topic within that country that we're trying to rank for. We then created a blog post, which reads very, very well. Admittedly, it needs a little bit of work still, but that's quite all right. And then we created also some social media posts that again, sound really and read really, really well. All this within a matter of minutes with Notebook LM, and we're gonna show you how to do this whole thing. If you don't know me, my name's Nico. I run an online community called the AI Ranking Hub, where we teach people and we support people on showing them how to maximize search engine optimization with the help of all these new tools that are coming out. We have the premium version and we have the free version. If you wanna get started with your search engine optimization and how to use AI tools to do that correctly, we've got a bunch of tutorials that you can get started for free, the AI powered SEO Kickstarter, and even how to start automating your content generation. If you're interested in that, I'll leave a link to this in the video description below. But we'll get started with our Notebook LM SEO strategy. Once you create an account with Notebook LM, and I'll leave a link to for you to create an account there, you're gonna create a new notebook here, and it's going to encourage you to upload resources and files. You can do that in a bunch of ways. You can do PDFs, text, markdown, and audio files. Note that you can't put image files, but if you do have an image file, you can just turn it into a PDF and it should work. You can also put website links, YouTube links, paste text, which is one of the strategies that we're gonna do. And if you've got the information in your Google Drives, you can add that in right away. There is a 50 file limit, which should be more than enough for what we need to do. For this example, we're gonna use this random website, which is a dog training website out of Melbourne, Australia. Now, there's a few ways that you can add your website information within a notebook in LM. You can either copy the URL, go back to the notebook and select the website and click paste the URL there and insert. Now, sometimes this doesn't work because as you can see here, the website might have a crawl blocker, meaning that it doesn't want an AI crawler to AI bot to crawl the website, which then gives us our, pro our problem because we can't insert the information, but that's okay. I'm gonna give you the first workaround for this. You're gonna use a tool called Gobblebot. Weird name, weird looking, but a fantastically useful tool. You're going to grab the URL that you wanted to do. You're going to go to Gobblebot and you're just going to paste it in there. You're going to give it a couple of minutes and it's going to start scanning for text. And what this does is scan the whole website and when it can access the text, it'll download it or it'll provide it to you in one big text file, which then you can upload to Notebook LM because we can upload text files, which is really all we need here. So if we can see what which parts of the website it crawled, it crawled the home, which is great. The seminars, the tips, so one of the blogs, are just going to try and get it to crawl through the specific services, such as the puppy school, general obedience, and the leash training. So I'm gonna go back to Gobblebot and press that one. It's starting to read that general obedience. See, I've got now the puppy dog training and it's got 1,946 characters, meaning that it's been able to crawl that successfully. The same with the general obedience. And we're gonna do the leash reactivity page here. And this is just gonna allow, this is just gonna allow 
our notebook, LM, to have all the information about the website that we want it to reference. In case inserting the URL, like we just tried to do, doesn't work, you can kind of force that into it anyway. So we've got all the data that we want it to reference. I'm gonna download all in one file and it's gonna give me a big old dirty text file, which we can then give to our notebook LM. We just drop it in here, perfect. And now you can see that that file is being referenced here. You probably wanna add more information in there. You wanna add some background and just give it some information about the overall business that maybe isn't on the website. And if you can't be bothered writing all this information out, well, you can talk it through with a free tool called Otter AI. It's free, you get a free account. I'll leave a link again in the video resources below. And I tend to use this strategy a lot. If I click record, it's going to start transcribing everything that I talk about, as you can see on the screen. So in this instance, you would write all about the business, about who your target audience is, what solutions you're trying to provide them. And then once you are ready, you can speak for five, 10 minutes, the more, the better. You stop, you can go back to the transcript and you're just going to copy this whole thing. We're going to back go back to the notebook LM and you're going to go paste, copy text and you're gonna upload that in there. But we're gonna upload some more and more useful information into notebook LM. We have the information about the website and the business that we're trying to rank. We do need to do a little bit of research to find out, well, what are the problems that people are trying to solve that our business can solve for them? If we go to a website that's called People Also Ask, and I'll leave a link to this in the video description below, I've talked about it many times. We can type in our main keyword, in this instance, dog training. We're gonna put the country, make sure you select the right country because that does make a difference. And you're going to go to live search, this is going to give you three free searches a day. You see that I've already used two. I've got one search left. I did one before this video to make sure that everything was working. And now you should see this beautiful mind map of all the frequently asked questions about or even relately about the main topics. I'm going to just download this as a PNG file. Remember, you can't do PDFs when you want to upload to Gemini or to the notebook. So you've got two options here. You can either go to Gemini. I figure I might as well use Gemini since we're using all Google products. I'm gonna upload the image that we just downloaded. And I'm gonna ask it just to give me all the questions in a list. And Gemini is understanding the assignment here, including the main questions, the sub questions, and the sub questions under each question. It's actually organizing it very well. I'm going to just copy everything here. I'm going to go to add a source in the top left, paste text, and here I'm just going to tell it FAQs about dog training in Australia. And then just paste everything as it is. Don't worry about the analysis too much. This is going to be more than enough. So now it's got the website information, the pasted text that we've got. And that's some pretty good information already. So what do we wanna do first? Well, like I said in the beginning of the video, let's make a bit of a content pillar to keep ourselves organized. And then we're going to place the content pillar that we generate as a source file for this notebook to have that it can reference later on. This isn't my original idea. I use that a lot with Claude Projects, which has the same functionality. Once you create something that you like, you click the button down below in the right, add to current project, and then that created file becomes part of the knowledge base of this project. Kind of the same thing that I'm trying to do here. So what's gonna be my prompt for it to generate the content pillar? Again, I'll leave this linked in the video description below, but I'm gonna tell it to act like an SEO professional and understanding all of the data that it has available to it, please create a detailed, SEO content pillar strategy with four to five pillars that, are, that we can use for the business ethical dog training. And I wanna give it some background on the business. With my prompt, I'm going to hit enter. And again, it's the same with most language models. You want to tell it to act like a certain expert, provide it some background and then define the output, which is what I did here. You'll have a copy of that prompt in the video resources below. Okay, perfect. And now if I take a look, I've got my SEO content pillar strategy for ethical dog training. It's got a main pillars, 
puppy training, perfect. It has that as a service, so that's more than okay to be used as a content pillar. We've got the keywords that I like, the rationale of why we have it in the sub pillars as well, and with their addition, with their corresponding keywords and rationale behind it. So I would suggest you go through that. If you don't like it, tell Gemini or tell Notebook why you don't like it. And we can do a couple of things. We can save to a note, and then we have that note as well. But what I like to do as well is to copy the entire thing, add a source, copy the text again, and I'm gonna insert that. So my content pillar is again as a custom knowledge base that it's going to reference as well. I believe the save the note response is also going to is also going to act as the same thing, but I like it just having having it as a source here so then I can reference it or I can deselect it or select. The one thing that you do want to make sure you do is the rename this. I know for example this one is all the FAQs. I'm going to place that in the source name so that I know which one I want to select or deselect depending on the content that I want to write about. FAQs, and if that's FAQs, this one is the content pillars, which it is, perfect. I'm going to click here and go rename SEO content pillars. Great, so I've got the FAQs, I've got the SEO content pillars for the business. I'm going to rename this website data. Okay, now I'm going to try to write my first blog here. I'm gonna tell it, understanding all the information available to you, what are some blogs I should write to become the topical authority figure within the niche and to generate good traffic to the website. And now, because we've placed a content pillar, it's telling us why it's thinking about the ideas that it's provided. For example, blog topics are ideal for ethical dog training, puppy training pillar, and then under it, it's given me the ideas that it suggests we should write about. And this just helps us keep everything organized and make sense of why we are writing something, which I think is important. So I like the ultimate guide to puppy socialization. You can do some little keyword research to make sure that puppy socialization is something that you want to write about, but I think it is. So we're going to tell it to write the full blog post about the ultimate guide to puppy socialization. I've told it to write, I've told it to write the full blog post about the ultimate guide to puppy socialization. I've also asked it to write in a conversational manner. You can specify the tone of voice in a lot more detail, and I've done plenty of videos on how to get the tone of voice out of a blog post or out of anything, which you can then feed this. And you could even place that as a source knowledge, as a custom source knowledge base so that it can reference the tone of voice all the time. You would have to specify within the prompts to make sure that it references the tone of voice as well. Perfect, so I'm going to uh, copy this and paste it into a blog, into a document so I can see what it looks like. Uh, it's got the markdown, so H2s, H3s. And if we read just the first sentence, I actually really like how Gemini writes. I don't know if they've improved it or if I've looked down on, upon it before, but let's read the first one. Bringing a new puppy into your home is an incredibly exciting time, but it's also a crucial period for their development. Socialization in those first few months is as important as teaching them basic command. It sets the stage for them to grow into a well-adjusted, confident dog. This guide will explore everything you need to know about puppy socialization from why it's essential to practice these tips, strategies, and I, I, that sounds pretty organic, to be honest. It doesn't sound too AI generated. And then great. Now, is this blog ready for you to just publish as it is on your website? No, absolutely. I would highly recommend that you then add your experience into the blog post. That's what's going to differentiate this from other AI generated content. You also need to do some backlinking and probably a couple of hundred other things for this to be a very good blog, but it gets you 90% of the way there. If you wanna learn all the other on-site components that you need to learn for SEO, for this to rank really well, you should check out our community, the AI ranking community, that's all there. We've got all the information that you need, particularly in our premium community. But I've got my first blog post, that's pretty good. And it understands all of the background. You see, right at the end, it even adds a call to action to content contact the business if they want. It says a qualified ethical dog trainer can provide tailored guidance and address specific challenges and you and help you raise a well-adjusted puppy, canine companion. Ethical dog training offers a range of services, including puppy school. And it does. So it's kind of 
done that CTA and the call to action in a really natural manner, which I like, saving you a lot of time. A couple of things here, you can also share this notebook with somebody else, but in, they need to be in your organization. Put their email there and you select the type of role you wanna provide them and you click send, they'll get an invitation. They can test the notebook trained with all the information from their own account, which I think is really handy as well. Great for businesses. I think it's definitely a underutilized tool for now. And now because we've got our first blog post, we've got the content pillars, we can even tell it to create a very detailed social media strategy, which we can do the same thing. Once we're happy, we copy it and we add it as a source file for our notebook. Last thing you wanna do is name it as well. Ethical dog training, I'll leave it there. And then I can go back to all my notebooks as well. Finally, one last thing that you should do, that you should know you can do. If you press the notebook guide, as we've seen in many videos, we can also generate a audio out of all this information, meaning it's gonna generate a podcast from all this. You can then potentially add that into SoundCloud and then embed that into the blog post. And that's just gonna add a little bit more ways that somebody can consume your content, which is a really nice option as well. And I'm sure you've seen that already, so I won't go too much into detail. I hope that was useful. And I hope you're going to use and take advantage of this free tool, Notebook LM. Again, all the resources will be in the video description below. And if you wanna learn how to maximize search engine optimization with these AI tools, I suggest you join our online community, the AI Ranking School community, which is completely free. And if you really like that, then you should check out our premium community. If you found value in this video, please, a little like and a subscribe goes a long way for us. I'll see you in the next video.